decided. You follow me along. I am walking Bella. I got a new book. Actually, I might eat something first. Pretty much have eight hours. I didn't like anything else that they had. decided that I was gonna make a video um, just you following me along um, for all of the week um, while I'm on nights as you can see uh, I'm very tired I didn't sleep at all um, last night I started sleeping pretty much in the morning probably like around 7 or 8 was when I finally was able to sleep um, steadily so I'm tonight it's gonna be an interesting shift. I'll see how much uh, depending on how busy we are it'll be how much I can actually vlog at work but you kind of I kind of filmed yesterday what my typical routine looks like um, it's not live but it is pretty much what my routine looks like uh, while I'm on nights uh, but yeah these are our new jackets we got them with our names engraved on them, so it's pretty cool. They say obstetrics and gynecology. I'm very excited to have it. Um, I have a like a teal blue Patagonia jacket that I got last year, which I love. So getting a new one means I don't have to wear it all week. I can switch between the two and you know give them a little bit of a break. But hey guys, so I just parked, and I'm here with my Danny Dover bag walking over to the hospital. I thought I left my badge at home um, and I was like, damn it, can't get into the parking lot, but I found it. <laughs> so I was able to park and I'm gonna be just on time to make it to sign out. We usually sign out at 5.30. Um, so I usually try to make it around 5.20 just to have um, some spare time. So I feel like if I have like 10 minutes, I could probably do my makeup more often but then it's always just like a hassle um, it would probably make me feel better um, a little bit every day but I've also learned to live without it so I don't know good morning everyone so I got home a few minutes ago it's about 8 15 in the morning so I got home around 8 it is Monday um, Last night was, was a pretty good night at work. Um, we was working on a lot of finance things. Uh, uh, but yeah, so now uh, here I am walking Bella and um, I'm about to go to bed. 
soon. As you can tell, I am very tired. Uh, it's only Monday, so it's day one and a half, two. I don't really know how to categorize this, but um, I will see you guys when I wake up. Hey guys, so it's about 3.50 in the afternoon on Monday. Um, I woke up around 3.20 today. Um, I'm still pretty tired. I probably could have slept a little bit more. Around 11 in the morning, um, the maintenance people from our building came because they're changing the water faucets in the bathrooms and the kitchen and all that. Um, so they knocked on the door and um, came in to do that. So I got woken up around 11.30ish. But I'm very excited that my Amazon order finally got here. I got a new book called It Starts With the Egg by Rebecca Fett. Um, I learned about this book through um, Brittany Vassar. Um, she is a lifestyle blogger, blogger on YouTube. She has great tips and um, she struggled with secondary infertility, which is when you've already had a pregnancy before, but suddenly you're struggling to get pregnant again. This book um, helped her get pregnant. I thought that this book was very interesting as well. Um, some of the OBGYNs I follow on Instagram um, who are REIs or reproductive endocrinologists and infertility specialists recommend this book like Dr. Laura Shanine. Um, and I am very excited to start reading this. Um, I keep telling myself that I'm going to read it at work because it's technically educational and it has to do with, um, my specialty. Uh, but I also kind of want to read it for myself and to learn something new and break the rules in, in the sense that not what they teach you in medical school is not the only things. Uh, that can contribute to health care that are not necessarily in our textbooks. They're not necessarily the most popular things, but they can be effective and they can help you um, help patients and can help patients have better outcomes and live a better life. Hey guys, so it's 4.51 and I just left the apartment ready for work. I made my tea. Time is just very limited on nights. It's just, everything happens very fast. Uh, we pretty much have eight hours between um, our shifts, between when we sign out and we get to come back. So usually everything is like very, it's, I'm on a time crunch the whole time. This is what I think doing a week in the life versus a day in the life is better because I can show you a little bit every day and then that way um, you have a better idea of how the day-to-day -day goes. I just got to my car and yeah, we'll, we'll head to work. Good morning guys. So I just finished uh, sign out. It's almost stayed, it's like 7.45 in the morning on Tuesday. And oh yeah, we had a good night. I got so into a book that I totally forgot to vlog it a little bit a little something but yeah hey guys so I'm just getting home it's 8 14 in the morning I left work around 7 45 um, sign out ended pretty early but we were having some discussion so it took a little bit um, but yeah I'm pretty beat <laughs> I didn't get to sleep at all because I was head deep into my book, um, which is fascinating by the way. So I kind of got distracted by reading and working and I kind of forgot to check in with you guys at work. So, so far this week has been kind of odd, just basically me before work and after work. Just getting home, um, it's raining a little bit so I'll probably just walk Bella really quickly and then just go to bed because I'm really tired and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so I just got to work. Um, it's been like raining and hailing and snowing and sleeting all day long. Um, so it was really nice for me because it was really nice and cold to sleep. Um, there was a really bad thunderstorm so I woke up around 2 p.m due to like the heavy lightning so that wasn't fun and then Bella was like shaking and she was really scared and anxious so 
um, I had to like wake up and calm her down um, and then I woke up late because I woke up at around 4 when I normally wake up around 3.20 something like that so that's a whole 40 minutes that I was asleep uh, but I really needed to recharge I was really exhausted this morning um, so now I'm just getting to work and I want to show you guys how beautiful this view is. Left a lot earlier than I normally do. I left around 440, 445 because it was giving me a new route um, on Waze and then I didn't know if there were going to be any accidents or traffic or anything like that so I wanted to leave early just so that I could make it in time. I've been, been seeing a lot of um, what's in my iPhone videos. I have a lot of stuff on my phone but if you want to see one of those videos leave me a comment down below um, and I will definitely look into doing a what's in my iPhone video. Um, you guys really seem to enjoy my what's in my work back video. Um, which I now have switched a few little things because I got that new Arlo Tech case from Dagny Dover and I'm really excited about it. My lips are really dry. Um, I'm about to go put, out, put on some lip balm. Uh, I've been using the Vaseline Lip Therapy. But I will leave you guys now. I'm gonna walk over to work. Okay, you guys, how beautiful is this? I mean, nothing is setting, but just watching the little like snowfall is like the dreamiest thing ever um as you can tell by now i am completely obsessed with snow and i would love to live in a place where it snows i know a lot of people actually hate that but uh, it's just so mesmerizing it's so beautiful i just i really really love it you guys it looks so beautiful i wish it would set probably overnight it'll set I may go out and play if that happens. Guys, so it's around, I want to say like 8.30 p.m., 9 p.m., close, to, close. Um, so I'm here about to get lunch. I didn't bring lunch today, um, so I'm coming down to the cafeteria. Um, we just did a delivery that was a shoulder dystocia. <laughs> um, we have like a lot of people on LND right now. like. We have two rotators, we have medical students, and then there's the three of us on the team, plus our midwife. Uh, so we have a lot of people. Um, so I just got food at the cafeteria, and I got a quesadilla uh, with some french fries. Um, I didn't like anything else that they had. I have really good lunch, so I'm not that hungry, so I might just eat it a little bit later. Um, but I also got some lactose-free milk. I want some cereal overnight. We do have a nice stash of cereal. It's been a good night. We still have we still have a few patients. Hey guys. So it's Wednesday morning. Um, we just finished sign out. It's snowing again, so I'm really excited. I have a really bad migraine. My headache started around one, two in the morning. So that's kind of why I didn't vlog anything earlier. Just looking forward to getting home and resting a little bit. Back tonight and I'm really tired. This migraine, I took ibuprofen so this migraine is not gonna go away um, until I sleep unfortunately. Hey guys, so I just made it to my car. Kind of snowing again. It did snow last night so nothing set which is kind of disappointing. I wish I could have gotten like some video footage of that. Um, I can insert some footage from last week when it was so beautiful um, walking Came outside the hospital sliding doors there was like a lot of snow falling and it just looked like you were inside a snow globe so probably gonna sleep pretty well which I hope I can so tired guys it's hard life is hard it's draining we had a few cases today that were a little bit tough but you know you got to keep moving forward and still love what I do we had some amazing deliveries as well and it just kind of reiterated how much I love uh, being on labor deliveries